Suppose you want to do something for which there are no role models, either because they're not visible to you or because they don't exist at all. If I wanted to be an astrophysicist only because I found an astrophysicist who grew up in the Bronx, if that was a prerequisite to me becoming an astrophysicist, I would have never become an astrophysicist. world is far more integrated today than ever before. And I think one way to measure that is if you had a time machine and you presented it to a black person and a woman and said, is there a time in the past where you would rather go, where you were treated better than in the present? And the answer is no. There's not a single day. In fact, take me to the future <laughs> where things might even be better. just being bathed in a night sky that was foreign to me, having grown up in the Bronx, th thinking that I knew what the night sky looked like, realizing how wrong I was, that the night sky is ablaze with stars. It's almost as though it was not I who chose the universe, but the universe who chose me. Parents just gave us advice on how to stay alive, basically, in a world where uh, that's dangerous for anyone and a world that uh, in no way was able to see or recognize the ambitions I had for myself. People with my skin color weren't studying astrophysics. So there were expectations I would be an athlete or some other kind of entertainer, things where they've seen black people before. I assembled my role model a la carte. So there was a scientist who had achieved a level of mastery of the field that I deeply respected. And I wanted, so I looked at what their tracking was. There was an educator who had such a way with words and expressions, and you just wanted to be in the company of that person and just have them keep talking because every sentence they uttered you learned and you became enlightened. I said, if I'm ever an educator, that's the kind of educator I want to be. I could point to countless hundreds of times where I grew up with discrimination. Um, I don't make a big deal of it um, because my ambitions were bigger than the forces that were against me. So I hardly ever talk about it. Most people will have struggles. Women will have struggles because they're, and most of science is a, is a man's world and so there's resistance there. So yeah, but I don't, I've moved beyond it. At no time was I saying to myself, gee, maybe I should study something else. That was never a thought. Uh, my resolve was there from very early on. And I had huge fuel tanks to overcome whatever challenges that uh, my life would have faced.
if I had a nickel for every time someone said, why are we spending money up there when we have problems down here? And I think about if you're only looking down, one day the asteroid's coming, you know, but I'm just looking down here, I'm fine. It you know, at some point you gotta look up. If you're on a path that has no challenges, by the time you get to the end, you might ask yourself, um, why did I do this? Or, or better yet, I could have done something more with greater challenges. As a species, there's something natural about enjoying having been challenged and coming out the other side victorious.